Hello everyone, it's Kathy here and it's lovely to see you here this evening. Um, I've got something that I wanted to share with you which I've kind of found a, a new meaning for uh, which is that question when you're feeling like you're really stuck and you don't know uh, out of a, you've got maybe a number of different decisions to make or you don't know how to get out of a sticky situation and you, you don't know what to do and you just don't know what the answer is. And often in that situation, people tell you to ask the question, what would love do? Which, and the, so the inference is that you tune into what would be the most highest possible answer for yourself and uh, that just never used to work for me because the thing was when I would ask that question uh, it would put me in my head and I'd be trying to work out the answer from my level of my head what would love do what would love do and I never used to get very much clarity because I was uh, too invested in getting the answer so that's what I'm going to be talking about in a little while and um, I just wanted to welcome anyone on that who's here with me live it would be uh, great if you do just uh, pop on say hello type hi in the chat box if you've got any questions or as you've got any comments that you would like to um, share or if you're watching the replay do say hello and um, you know if you've found uh, a really useful way of using this question that's different than what I'm sharing, then do please share that. I'd love to hear how you use this um, this particular question because it is actually really powerful. So what would love do? So the way that I use it, where it, it's like the penny drops, um, I, I, I take people through a process when I work with them to help them understand who they are as, a, as an infinite being because everybody, everything that exists is energy and I talk about this every, every time I'm on a live really so I hope, you know, if this isn't your first time of, of watching one of these that I've done, you'll hopefully be getting a reminder that you are so much more than just this small body that you are in. You are not just a human being, you are an infinite spiritual being in a physical body. And as such, when you experience yourself as that infinite self, when you connect into your heart, because this is the place where you can really get a sense of your uh, how great you are, and you feel yourself as that complete field of consciousness that extends through everything that is the oneness when you can push your awareness out to that level that's when you tune into your true power and in that in that space you're connecting into the infinite essentially it's it's the the source of all creation this energy that creates worlds that creates nature that creates everything about you and, and everything within this physical reality and so in that place which comes from infinite unconditional love because that is the the essence of the energy that of creation in that place there is no duality there is no separation there is no lack and so that and there is all it is all knowing it is the source of infinite creative potential and creative power and it is from this place when you choose to be that and you align with that that's when you can kind of tune into that place of all possibilities so if you imagine that you're when you're in that place where you're stuck where you don't know what you're doing where you really are confused or you're stressed or you know things just aren't uh, going as you want them to do as you want them to go and you don't know what to do then this is where you go to so you connect into your heart you feel yourself uh imagine or first of all you drop the energy out of your head down into your heart into your body feeling that sense of presence 
feeling in the moments in and feeling the energy that you are feeling just uh, feeling who you are in this moment, feeling your inner landscape, just get a sense of yourself within as energy. And then imagine that you have a light within you and push that light out through your body, out into your energy field, and just out beyond your energy field, out in every direction. And notice as you do that, that your awareness can stretch out further and further and further and further and infinitely. And that's when you are connecting with that field of consciousness and this is often the place that we get to uh, when we're meditating it's connecting with the oneness and it, it there is a certain sense of peace when you connect here too so because you're in your body and you're not here where we end up spending a lot of our time there is a uh, more of a sense of just a knowingness and so from here when you Imagine that you are so much bigger than the small, physical, little person that you are in a body, and you're so much bigger than the tiny problem that you really have. It seems to be that you have, uh, it's like more of your awareness is there to see all sides, to see the situation that you're in from different perspectives. And it's just that awareness kind of like when you when you ask the question to the universe, you know, to help you find some expansion on on uh, on your situation and you allow a space for the universe to drop that answer in rather than needing to know it from from the head straight away. The universe will go to work for you. And if you keep asking with a sense of curiosity and openness and spaciousness, the answer will drop into your awareness and you will be able to see some kind of creative way out of your situation or you'll be able to see the way ahead. And often the way that we uh, know this to be the, the true path for us is because it will have a sense of being spacious and light and it will, it, it feels more expansive. When you are choosing from your head or from a place of fear or from a place of um, worry or stress or, you know, you're, you're really stuck in, in your mind, the choice that is out of alignment is likely to feel heavy, more like there's a block, like you're pushing against a block, um, like a brick wall. So just there's no give in it whatsoever or it will just feel contracted and you won't feel excitement about it. So choices that are in alignment, they even if they feel a little bit, maybe a little bit scary, but it's that scariness that has a spongy feel to it so that you could actually push it and move forward. And it's usually, um, if you tune into that kind of sensation, it's often ex uh, excitement because it's so similar to the energy of fear. So play with what's going on in your body, play with the energy in your body and see uh, what your body tells you because it always tells you the truth. So what else can I tell you about this question? Um, so this is kind of like, it answers that question, or well, it answers that statement of, you always have all the answers that you need within yourself. And it's not that they're in your head, it's in you as that infinite being that you are. Oh, hi, Alessandro. Thank you, saying great theme tonight. Yes, this is, and it's, such a, it's such a simple but powerful practice to get into, to constantly remind yourself of the infinite being that you are because you do have all the answers. You, um, when you connect into this place, you, you are, um, because there's no separation, you are connected to everything that you desire. And so when you choose to kind of focus on what it is that you want to create and you imagine being the energy of that, because there's nothing separating you from it energetically, if you can imagine being that energy of you in the experience that you want, that's when you start to attract it to you because it's that's how law of attraction works but but also this is how quantum dynamics works as well because you're focusing on what you want to create and where, where your focus goes that's what creates uh 
um, physical reality to manifest. Um, I talked about that in a in last week's live stream. I did a little quick fire talk on quantum dynamics. So check that out in the um, back on my page, and you'll you'll get a little bit more information about how uh, how powerful we are as creators, and it is all about our focus. And science is catching up with what the um, what the teachers and uh, spiritual teachers for thousands of years have been sharing from the east. So that's kind of it from me, I think. Um, what else? Let me just check my notes. So I made a few notes. Uh, yeah, so in this, uh, th in this place, when you expand out and you're in that, that infinite, expansive place that you are, this is where you need to go to whenever anything comes along and trips you up. Because you're tending you're going to tend to go into your head when you don't know what you're doing when you're uh unsure about what the next steps are you will typically go here because that's our default way of doing things when we when we're outside our comfort zone uh the head is the first thing that gets in, in into the game there and the head doesn't know because the head comes from this small physical self so if you can catch yourself doing that and do that process that I, I explained where, you know, you connect inwards and expand yourself out to your infinite self, you will find that you have the answers from that place and that the, the big boulder of a problem that you experienced in this life, from that place, it looks like a pebble. And you, you have so much um, of a greater perspective on how to move around it and you know you are infinite creative intelligence and the answers are there in this uh unlimited field of possibilities so i hope that's been a little uh, bit of help for you so do let me know hi grania nice to see you hi hi sonia um do let me know if if it resonates if you've uh, got anything that you use yourself to help you uh, get through that sort of um, mindset stuff where you feel really stuck um, or maybe how you look at that question what would love do do you use it in a different way I'd love to hear um, apart from that I I just wanted to remind you that I'm going to be doing so much more of this work in a one-day workshop that I'm going to be doing on the 23rd of September it's a Saturday and it will be just outside of West London it's going to be called activate abundance and so we're going to be doing so much more about um, connecting into your infinite self really practicing this so it starts to become like you know like you're building up a new muscle but also from that place that's where you get really clear about what your vision is for yourself about what you wish to create in your life that's in real true alignment with the life that you're here to live for your highest good for the highest good of of all so we'll be looking at how to find that vision how to access your power and your creativity and uh that sense of being able to move beyond anything to tap into possibilities and i will be starting to clear any of the blocks that are in the way uh, to fully manifesting that that vision that you have so that's on the 23rd of September do let me know if you're interested I've got a few places left um, and the other thing is that I've extended my channeling sessions I've got a special um, half price special offer on for the whole of the summer I've just extended it it's been so much fun doing sessions with people and seeing such really big transformations in just um, either an hour as part of a, as a set of three or in 90 minutes as a, a longer one hour one off session and um, I'll put the links for both of those uh, for the workshop and for the, the sessions in the comments but um, if you're interested and you want to make a really big leap forward or you're you, you, no matter what you you have tried because you're doing all that inner work you're not, just not making that breakthrough that you know is there this channeling work it's like a hot knife through butter uh, it really goes into all your unconscious blocks and it starts to pull them out at the roots so that you can see the way ahead and um, it will give you a whole lot of different tools and things that you can use to practice so that you've got something to use 
uh, once the session's over. So if that's interesting for you, then do let me know. Personal, send me a personal message or email me at kathy at kathyballard.com and uh, I'd love to hear from you. But again, if you listen back to this and you've got any questions or comments or feedback, do pop it in the um, comments box and I'll get back to you. But that's it for me tonight and I will see you next time. Bye.